Two days after monitoring a provocative U.S. warship transit in the Taiwan Straits, Chinese People's Liberation Army PLA, forces drove away the same U.S. vessel which intruded Chinese territorial waters in the South China Sea, on Thursday. As the U.S. move was deemed an act of navigational hegemony and public opinion manipulation that seriously violated China's sovereignty and safety and risked misjudgment and accidents. The two recent U.S. warship activities were related and intentionally planned, analysts said, noting that the PLA's consecutive responses also demonstrated that it is fully prepared to fend off any provocations. Without authorization from the Chinese government, the guided missile destroyer USS Curtis Wilbur illegally trespassed into China's territorial waters of Zaisha on Thursday, and the PLA Southern Theater Command organized maritime and aerial forces to track and monitor it and warned it away, senior Colonel Chan Junli, spokesperson of the command, said in a statement. The U.S. military's claim that it was not expelled from any nation's territory is a confusing statement that intentionally leads the public to focus on expelled or not, military experts pointed out. USS Curtis Wilbur was not expelled from any nation's territory that the U.S. 7th Fleet stated, which emphasizes expel while ignoring the specific location on the territory of any country, is an attempt to confuse the public and diverting the focus, experts said. The U.S. military intended to create the impression that Curtis Wilbur was driven away by the PLA's warning in international waters instead of the territorial waters of any country, experts analyzed. In the deep-rooted mentality of the U.S. military, it always denies China's sovereignty over the Zaisha Islands, and refuses to recognize the baseline of the territorial sea of the islands. In this case, the U.S. military does not believe it entered China's territorial sea and remained in international waters, experts said. The U.S. military's move is an often used trick of mixed manipulation of navigational hegemony and public opinion misleading, which seriously violated China's sovereignty and safety, and severely harmed peace and stability in the South China Sea, Tian said. We are firmly against this. It went against international law, and basic principles in international relations, purposely added regional security risks and could have triggered misjudgment and maritime accidents, Tian said noting that it was unprofessional and irresponsible, and showed the U.S. is the real security risk maker in the South China Sea. China should not only take proper military countermeasures, but also expose more of the U.S. unreasonable and hegemonic moves to the international public, and let the world know the U.S. military's true face, Zhang Shuifeng, a Chinese military expert, told the Global Times on Thursday.